Support for the Nature Museum is provided by Rose Pest Solutions, protecting homes, businesses, health, and the environment since 1860. Hi everyone and welcome back to Curious by Nature. My name is Nicole and today I'll be showing you one of my favorite springtime crafts, painting with frozen watercolors. This is a fun and easy art craft to do when you're at home and there's always plenty to be inspired by in nature. So let's get started. For today's activity, you'll need some tempera paint, a paper, an ice cube tray, some popsicle sticks, and a little bit of water. To make your frozen watercolor cubes, you'll mix a little bit of water with your tempera paint in your ice cube tray, and then put it in the freezer with your popsicle stick handle to freeze. When they're frozen, you'll take them out and let them melt just a little bit, and then you can use them to do some painting. It's fun to experiment with with them on different temperature days to see how they behave. Let's get started. So maybe I'll use a little green. It's nice and warm and so mine will behave a lot like watercolors. Let's see. So I can move my ice cube all around the page to paint with whatever color I want. If your ice cube is too frozen, if it's too firm, you can dunk it in the water so that it behaves a little bit more like watercolors. As they start to melt, it's really easy to move the paint around the paper. It's fun to experiment a little bit with the different temperatures as our ice paints melt. And now in the spring, it's so fun to take inspiration from nature. Let's draw a springtime flower. I noticed some orange ones in the prairie. If you want to keep using your paints, just put them back in the freezer and then you could use your paints over and over again all day long. It would be fun to experiment using your paints when it was different temperatures outside to see how they behave when it's warmer and cooler. Here's a few that I did earlier. This one was inspired by some time in the prairie, so I used some blue for my spring sky and then I showed a few of the new green plants with my watercolor paint. It could also be fun just to experiment with color, like I did here. It's a fun way to do a different kind of craft project, thinking a little bit about temperature. That's our episode for today. As you can see, painting with frozen watercolors is an easy but really neat way to try out a new art project at home. And now with spring here, there's so much in nature that can inspire us. Share with us what designs you come up with on social media, and if you enjoyed today's craft, be sure to give the video a like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. We'll see you back here next time on Curious by Nature.